Hello you guys, welcome to this edition of Cooking with Salisha's Kitchen and I'm going to show you something that I do because I cater out my home so when it comes to frying, I need for when people call I can just drop it and come. And I'm going to show you how to filter your grease, you can just filter your grease every time and these are the things you will need. You can go get these filter cones, they look like this, well it come like this but you got to turn them inside out. And you can get these at any kind of restaurant store. Like I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, I'll go to Dean Supply, Restaurant Depot, whatever kind of restaurant store you have in your city, that's where you go. But you will turn it up inside out. You will also need a cone rack and a, and a pot. So I'm going to show you, and this right here is a, um, turkey fryer yes I use a turkey fryer that's a 30 pound turkey fryer I can just drop drop it out turn it on when I get started cooking it take about 30 minutes 40 to 50 minutes 40 45 minutes to an hour for that grease to um, hook up heat up or whatever because you know you want to make a grease and it has temperatures on there so now I'm gonna show you the other part of what you do like I said you turn the cone inside out you put the cone in there like this. And then you sit this in a pan. Now on the side of the turkey fryer, they have a um, a button, which I'm about to show you. Now, I, I lost my holes that go to it. So it come with a hole, so don't lose your hole. Knowing me, I probably throw it away. I don't know. So let me, I'm going to show you the part of filtering the grease. The grease thing, and this the side. I'm going to clean all this off. So then you put the pan down at the bottom. So you turn this on. Usually this will come with a hose, but see how it's catching this, catching this grease? Cause it's gonna make all the yucky and nasty stuff that come in the grease is gonna get caught in there so you can have fresh new grease. So I'll show you how everything looks when I come back. This part comes out of this. I'm gonna clean all that, but this part comes out of it and you can just pour the rest in the um, filter and then clean everything and I'll show you how it looks when it comes This is all the gunky stuff that the cone has caught. This is the fresh grease and so we just put everything back together. So I'm going to show you how you put everything back together. This is the fryer thing. See it's clean. Go ahead and put that in there and just fill the grease back in there. Oh, the grease is filtered. Let me go ahead. Look at all that gunk. You can do this every other day, every day, however you want to do it. Just throw that away. And you have your new grease. Let me know how you filter out your grease. If you're cooking at home, how do you um, filter your grease if you haven't? I mean, how do you cook your stuff if you frying a lot of stuff? But this is just a technique that I learned um, that you can use a turkey fryer, just filter the grease every time or every other time that you use it and you can have it on so you can just drop it immediately. Thank you for tuning in with Talisha's Kitchen. Everybody have a blessed day.